Hello, my name is Jonathan and I'm the Youth and Children's Minister of our church here in Tiverton. I don't know about you, but the one thing I have probably learned most about in this pandemic or during this time is how to take the best selfie video. How to facilitate the best video conference. And I've invested in things that I never knew I needed Starting with a phone, tripod, longer charging cables, I've downloaded software like Zoom that I never knew even existed before this time started. But the one thing I've really learned is how to strategically clean your house so that one corner always looks pristine. Pristine enough so that you can broadcast the next message or film the next video. I've learned how to rearrange books and how to sort out those books that you don't want to showcase in case someone looks through those videos. But I wonder what you would see if I were to turn around this camera now. Well, you could see the books over there that I have sorted out just lying on the floor. Over there is the chocolate wrapper and the cup of tea that I haven't quite tidied up yet. One corner looks nice and clean, but around me, well, there might be a bit of a mess. I wonder whether we can see and learn similar from our spiritual life. When we spend time with God, when we draw close to him, are we willing to show and tell and explain and uh, commit everything to him? Or are we far more easier and ready to say, hey God, can you please help me with this? But don't worry about that over there because that isn't really what I want you to engage with. Psalm 139 reads like this and it says, O Lord, you have examined my heart. You know everything about me. You know when I sit up, when I stand You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel, when I rest at home. You know everything I do. See, sometimes we approach our time with God like we could compartmentalise our life. To ask God and to thank God for those things over there. But to really, really ask and say, hey God, I don't want you to interact with that. Don't worry. But see, God knows us. God knows us deep inside. He can see our really pristine parts of our lives, but he also knows about the mess around us. And despite him knowing all of that about us in Psalm 139, we can continue to read in verse 5 and it says, You place your hand of blessing on my life. See, despite God's knowledge about everything in our lives. Despite God knowing everything about me, he still places his hand of blessing on me. He still loves me. Maybe he loves me because of that. So are we willing to give God everything? Are we willing to present God our lives just as they are? Or are we just wanting to show him how perfect it is, to to give him that one corner but to shut him out of everything else? I want to challenge you over the next couple of days as you continue to spend time with God to give him your whole life. To allow him to work through the stuff that's going around, through the mess that's behind the scenes. So that he can help you to live life to the full. So that you can see that God is a good God who loves you in spite, despite and because of the things that you are struggling with. And because of the things that you are good at. Spend time with God. Give him everything. And show him the real you this week.